Hello and welcome back to the channel where I make how-to videos from subjects like Mac Tips, Backend, Swift, Salesforce, and Game Development. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to my YouTube channel. In this video, we're going to learn how to fix a quick sold bridge when it won't start. Starting from um, Unreal Engine 5.1 version and, and higher, quick sold bridge is on by default. If you don't see the quick sold bridge menu uh, when you start Unreal Engine, uh, there's an option in the plugins that you could just enable. I made a video of that last year. You could check that out. Now, my issue is beyond the menu not showing. So let me show you what my issue is. So when I start Quixel Bridge, I get this looping behavior where I get an error message saying the background service stopped. And then when you try to restart, it would say failed to restart the background service and it keeps on going and going. And the uh, menu here is just spinning. I can't access it to sign in or change the preferences. So a few things I've already tried. I already tried going to plugins and disabling the bridge and then enabling it back. So that didn't work. I also tried uninstalling the crucial bridge from the engine and then reinstalling it back. So that also didn't work. So it's still happening. So now uh, let's try to dig a little deeper on how we could fix this. Cool. So I figured out what's wrong with my setup because I have the default path of the Quixel Bridge Megasky library on my external drive. I think this path is corrupted. So what I have to do is go back to my documents folder under my user, which is the default location when you install Unreal Engine. So here, just create a new folder and call it Megascans library. By doing so, when I go back to Quixel Bridge here, that should fix the loading issue. So now I just need to sign in. Um, but if I go under preference here, you would see that it's still pointing to my external drive. So I think it corrupted the path here and it default looks into the default directory, the uh, documents folder. And then after we resolve this, it then go and read the the new library path. So I think that's what's happening. Not sure, not 100% sure, but at least that solved the problem for me. And the odd thing is if I go under my uh, external drive here, I now have two folders. So this is the new folder that it created and you can see it's empty. And this one is has all my files on it. So I'll just move this to the other directory and I could delete it. So somehow this folder is corrupted and it created a new one. Cool. So that's how I fixed my issue. So hope it helps somebody out there. Uh, cheers. Bye for now.